going to be a, a great environment. Um, you know, this is what I tell them. This is why you come to Notre Dame and to be a part of games like this. And, um, you know, the best thing we can do is put on a good performance. But um, for them to understand that this is what Notre Dame's about, you know, and and um, you you got a chance to be a part of this in 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 this future in this football program. And so um, it's a big weekend for us. Anytime you can get these kids on campus, um, it, it's important for us to, for them to experience this game day atmosphere. Because a lot of kids, you know what, a lot of the recruits now take official visits during the summer and before they ever get a chance to, to experience what a game day is like um, here, especially in South Bend. And so um, we want our, we want all the kids that come here on campus to really experience, a, a to have a great experience, um, but also understand that, that this is what, what takes place at Notre Dame. And, and again, the other part of that is making sure that we put on a, a good performance for them and uh, we, we execute on the game field. We have resources for them um, to utilize here on campus, uh, you know, on an individual basis. And as far as, you know, what we want our players thinking during the week and as they get ready for um, a game, it it can be from the head coach or the position coach and we're speaking similar messages. And, uh, you know, it's it's the things that I feel as the head coach they, ha they should be thinking about and what's important. Um, but but again, we have to make sure we have resources to serve these guys that um, if, if necessary, they feel like they need it. Um, we have uh, resources for them in terms of mental performance. Number one thing you do is you shrink your your call sheet, right? When you get into the red zone, you instead of having this long list of different calls that you can make defensively, you're going to shrink it down to a couple calls, and and you're probably going to try to get more on body coverage, right? There's there's less space. Um, you know, uh, for the offense. And so you want to try to get on body with those guys and challenge every route you can. But you also probably have to have a zone. You have to have some type of change up of a zone and then understand what they like to do in a red zone. You know, for 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 this game, you know, there's going to be any opportunity five can keep the ball in his hands. You, you know, he will. So you have to have a plan to make sure that you have somebody extra for the quarterback so that he can't beat you by running the ball into the end zone. But at the same time, when you do that, you're also opening it up some, some more areas for them to throw the ball. So uh, you, you know, you got to shrink what you're doing. You got to make sure that your, your guys on defense have a plan and a, a thought process of what you think the offense is going to do. And then you got to make a play. And a lot of times the red zone are going to be some one-on-one -on -one situations where somebody's going to have to make a play and um, you better know that and, and believe that your guy will. I just think you just got to be aware of it and understand that you got a certain plan that you have when you're going with the wind and, and depending on how strong the wind is, you got to have a another plan when you're going against the wind. Defensively, you got to be ready for shots when the, the offense has the wind and defensive and offensively, you got to be ready to take some shots um with the wind special teams wise the same thing understanding if you're kicking to the wind or kicking against the wind i'm um, kicking with the wind or against the wind so again it, it's just having a plan um to utilize the wind or or understand that hey the other the opponent has the wind or we're going against the wind